hello from New York City. I'm downtown here. I want to share with you something that's really interesting I was thinking about. And that is um, about men, males, you know, males. I want to share with you, you know, some, some of you women out there, you've been disappointed. Guaranteed. <laughs> you really don't think highly of males. And I understand. And I want to share with you why. Because you may have never met a male that's not weak when it comes to you and your image, your body. You know, if you turn a certain way or do a certain thing or gesture, bend over the certain way to pick something up or whatever, you see men just fold. And it's kind of probably a little frustrating for you to say, oh, another, another guy who's weak in that area. And I want to share with you why. And I want to share with you, there is somebody who's not that way. And then there's some people like you. I want to share this stuff, all right? You ready? Okay, so the reason men are that way, males are that way, is because they've been lied to in society, but it's not just on the outside, it's on the inside. There's a weakness in men that started with the, with the human race, the way it started and the way the first man turned, he gave up God for the woman. And when he did, it created a weakness in men to do the same thing over and over and over and that's why men have that problem usually all right not every man but i'm saying well okay unless they have some other thing so now there was a guy one man one man and i'm telling you and when i tell you you'll know you probably never heard this there was a man who did not he was very different than that very different he's a male but very 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 different and he wasn't like he didn't have a sex organs or a mind or a brain he couldn't he knew beauty he appreciated beauty better than any other person any other man but this is jesus who i'm talking about jesus the one who you heard about jesus the christ the christ what happened is what i'm going to tell you about him is that he was around prostitutes all the time they were his friends they liked him, he liked them. No sexual attraction coming out of him toward them. No temptation like you going and trying to use one or, you know, late night, one's drunk, take him home. None of that stuff, zero, zero out of this man. So he was very different. And then he also protected women. There was a woman about to be murdered. Well, not really murdered, but killed the death penalty in that country was had to do with for adultery for the man and woman is they're supposed to get killed but they just brought the woman out and she was about to get killed and jesus stood in their way he could have most men would fold and think oh i'm not going to get killed but he stood in the way and was ready to get stoned instead of her and he backed him down and everybody left and then it was just she and him and then he did other things four women that are amazing amazing now that's different than the normal man but i want to tell you that there's something else out there today and it's called the spirit of christ the spirit and that's in me now that's why i'm so different i'm way different than you see the men out here my goodness i'm not putting them down i love them but they don't know anything and some of you who are watching me are men and you feel like, but I want to share with you, the secret is to get the Spirit of Christ on the inside of you. Because he's more than just a person, Jesus. When he died, he opened up Christ to everybody. And the Spirit of Christ will rest. It'll live inside of you, find a home inside of you. And you can do just like he did. That's why I healed the sick. That's why I healed cancer, all these other things. We knock them out of the way. And also, that's why I get around women. I was over in Holland the other day, over in Amsterdam, and I was at the red light district, and I went up and saw a prostitute. And I took with me another guy who I got healed on the street there. He came in with me, and we led the woman to the Lord Jesus. That's what you do. That's what you do. It was only love in there. The atmosphere was one of lusts, 
But we weren't falling for that because we got Christ in us. I have Christ in me. And he's shouting out at you right now, saying, I love you. I welcome you. I'm yours. Will you be mine? That's what he's saying. Christ loves you.